Jacob Slavin is known today as one of the top defensive defensemen in the NHL. He has elite vision, instincts, and a poke check that would make even the great Nicholas Lindstrom jealous. Hey everyone, I'm Logan with Hockey News Tonight, and today we look at the early career and life of Jacob Slavin. Now if you guys like this video, please leave a like, I would greatly appreciate it. That would help me figure out if I need to continue with videos like this. And with that said, let's just go on into it. Jacob Scott Slavin, born May 1st, 1994 in Erie, Colorado, grew up in a hockey family of five siblings where family and the Christian faith was prominent and shaped him into the man he is today. Jacob would credit his parents for teaching him to skate at an early age of 18 months old by placing M&Ms all over the ice and he would skate from candy to candy, eating, skating, falling, eating, skating, falling. Jacob was on the Highland Hills Jaguars youth team in Westminster, Colorado at an early age and played there until he was about 13 years old. He would then play for the Littleton Hawks in 2007 for one year and then move on to the Colorado Thunderbirds 16 under and 18 under youth teams from 2008 to 2010. At 16, Jacob would make the move to the USHL and the Chicago Steel. While at Chicago, the Steel were not a powerhouse by any means, and Slavin wouldn't be able to go to the playoffs in any of the three years that he was there, but this is where the Carolina Hurricanes found their diamond in the rough. And this may have been where Jacob may have learned that sometimes you have to do things that doesn't necessarily make you comfortable. Sorry, Jacob. Hey Chicago Steel fans, this is Jacob Slavin and Joel Benson, and we're here wearing our ugly sweaters. Uh, come out on December 8th to our game and wear your ugly sweaters. The ugliest sweater will win a Steel signed practice jersey. Wear the ugly sweaters. In 2012, NHL Central had a list of the best 210 players in North America. Jacob was not on that list, but Carolina Hurricanes didn't care and drafted him 120th overall in that year's draft when Jacob was just 18 years old. Tony McDonald, former director of scouting, said, We were at the spot in the draft and we wanted to take a look at defensemen. We knew with Slavin he was one of those players that was a raw talent that we had not seen the best of yet. He was in a program that was not one of the stronger ones at the time, but he was starting to come into his own where we were thinking he was a pretty good prospect. McDonald would also say he was one of the under the radar types. Could we have waited another round on him? Maybe we could have, but Burt Marshall was a big slaving guy carrying his flag. Burt Marshall was one of the scouts for the Hurricanes. He had over 30 years experience and had an expertise in defensemen being a defenseman himself and would pitch Slavin hard to the organization. One of the scouting reports Marshall had was from a 7-1 loss to Dubuque. This is where he said of Slavin and got high marks for his play. Whatever he did was the right thing. Whatever he did was what should have been done. He just couldn't do enough to keep the puck out of the net. Burt Marshall could see a good player on a bad team, something that scouts have fought with for ages. It's something that's not always easy to do. Marshall could see the potential in Jacob. He could see the instincts for the game that Slavin had that cannot be taught. Jacob would play one more year for Chicago Steel before going to university to play for Colorado College for two years. In those two years with the Tigers, RJ Engel was the assistant coach for the Tigers and would say of Slavin, players develop at different rates and Jacob was something of a late bloomer. He has such a great hockey sense and a high hockey IQ and the ability to process things on the ice at a high pace. He's a perfectionist, always working on something. He has the inner drive to be better. Jacob would also play in the 2012 World Junior A Challenge and the 2014 World Junior Championships. Here is where Slavin really started to come into his own. Coaches touting how this is when he became a better skater, stronger, and exceeding expectations that everyone around Slavin had for him. 
After two years with Colorado College, Slavin would forego the rest of his collegiate career and sign a three-year entry-level contract with the Hurricanes. He was then assigned to the Charlotte Checkers, where he made his professional debut for them on October 10th, 2015, landing an assist on the day. After only 14 days with the Checkers, the Carolina Hurricanes would recall him onto their main roster and he would make his professional debut on November 20th, 2015. And that, my friends, was only the beginning. Slavin has now played in over 550 games with only 76 career penalty minutes, which is unheard of for a defenseman in the NHL. In 2020, Slavin would be awarded a spot on the NHL's All-Star Game roster and in 2021 won the Lady Bing Memorial Trophy, an award for the player that best represents sportsmanship and gentlemanly conduct. Only the second defenseman to win the award in over 60 years. With his strong NHL instincts and an unwavering work ethic, Slavin has established himself as not only a top defenseman that Carolina Hurricane fans love, but a player that everyone in the NHL respects and acknowledges.